Mr. Harold Wilson, the Prime Minister, said today in a statement on the economic situation that for several weeks past there has been an increasing pressure on liquidity in the world's financial centres. The Prime Minister insisted that the government's economic aim was not deflationary unemployment, but the redeployment of labour to help the expansion of industry. Restraint in incomes, he said, was the only guarantee against unemployment. So far from threatening the nation with continuing unemployment, by creating the opportunity for a new breakthrough in exports and production, they hold out the surest guarantee we could have of full employment for a generation. This is the moment of truth for Mr. Edward Heath, Prime Minister and First Lord of the Treasury. His courageous drive for economic growth without tearaway inflation has run into the sands. Economic expansion plus full employment must still be the long-term aim. Yet the immediate need is for a policy for Britain's economic survival. Mr. Wilson was back in power last night after Mr. Heath resigned as Prime Minister. Sir Keith Joseph yesterday rejected the full employment policies of the two main political parties and blamed those policies for causing inflation. He said, our greatest error was to believe that the million unemployed in 1972 were the gaunt, tight-lipped men in caps and mufflers of the 1930s. They were not. Over 30% were unemployable or voluntarily unemployed, and another tenth were working and signing on or practicing some other form of fraud. Some economists fear that politicians will discover that they can run the economy with one million unemployed without committing electoral suicide. Full employment is not in the gift of government. It should not be promised and it cannot be provided. Keith Joseph's speech to the Bow Group. One of the main reasons for today's distressing figures on unemployment are that we have paid, are that we have paid ourselves far more than other countries for doing the same job. Consequently, we've lost some of the business and they've got some of the jobs. The abandonment of full employment, which experience had suggested to be a feasible policy option, required the public to be persuaded of greater evils. Inflation has been the central one, from the book Social Limits to Growth by F. Hirsch. Since 1974, we have seen a massive press-ganging of workers into Britain's conscript army of the unemployed to fight the war against inflation. From the book Conscript Army, Britain's Unemployed by Frank Field. It is inevitable that in fighting inflation, there is involved a short-term increase in unemployment. The alternative is to print money and have a very much bigger increase in unemployment in the long run, which we will 